all right what's up guys welcome back to another video here on my channel we're still on editing your photos and i felt it's right to do a lightroom version for those viewers who you know are still in lightroom and i'm finding it a bit difficult to transition to capture one if you've watched my previous video i did mention that um when it comes to color grading and let me just hide this when it comes to color grading you're always looking at the colors you don't need in the photo then you just take them out either by removing the saturation from the set color in the set image or you actually um, complement the color you don't really need with the color that complements the set color i hope i made sense over there right so we also edited this same particular image in capture one so i thought to try to use the same image here in lightroom but before we get into today's video make it a point to subscribe to the channel right because i have a lot of people who watch my channel and are not yet subscribed so i'll be glad if you do subscribe to the channel leave a thumbs up which of course helps me a lot to also allow people to see this particular video on my youtube recommended right and share this video it's quite important for me if you share this video let me get a new reach apart from those i know in africa let me have a reach in the us and the uk you know just share the content right let's just get right into today's video this, these images I got from Kesi Jose. I still don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm going to leave a link down in the description or just pull up the Instagram handle over here. I'm sure you, you, you might have now have checked it out from the previous video. She's a really good, good model and also a great hobbyist when it comes to photography. The very first thing I need to do is to you know enable lens profile correction just to clear off those dark edges, right? And whenever it is a, whenever it is that I come into Lightroom, we all know that if I'm going to use my profiles, I start by working from my standard profile. So I'm just going to click on the standard profile and just take a look at how the image is looking different already. But I feel like there's a whole lot of saturation in this. And I did mention in the previous video that whenever it is you want to color grade, always start from a desaturated point then pushing the colors bit by bit or individually pushing the colors individually when you're working on the image we all know that the skin is made up of reds yellows and oranges and lightroom has given us the opportunity to know um, to have that selected color range within the oranges as usual and some of bits of the reds let's see so basically we are having everything here in the oranges and in the reds right and also as you can see my layout of my lightroom tabs have been changed the calibration used to be all the way down here but it's up here now i feel like if you haven't watched my videos on understanding the various tabs in lightroom i think this is the right opportunity to go learn a bit or two about these various tabs so the calibration which comes with the red green and blue primary whatever camera you use to shoot always notice that or always note that the cameras read in red green blue when i increase or when i zoom in and i take let's say this side of the face we all can attest to the fact that there are some oranges there are some reds in it right but within if you pick up the red primary let me reduce the saturation of the red primary if you, if you pick up the red primary and you take away the saturation you still have some colors in the image if i take out the green primary if i take out the blue primary you can still tell that there are some colors available in this said image this goes to tell you that these um, colors we see on the skin or on the entire image are made up of reds greens and blues you can see some bits of you know reds in the green right when i just reset the saturation back to zero like you can see hints of red when I reset this, you can see also hints of red in this, right? And let me reset that of the red primary. So that goes to tell you that whenever, whenever you pick the red primary, you have some hints of blue, some hints of green, some hints of red itself in the set image. When you pick up the green primary, you have the same thing. When you pick up the blue primary, you have the same thing. I think Carl Taylor has an in-depth video explaining how photoreceptors work and how um, green is the prominent color in every image when it comes to color so see when i take out green you see it takes a lot away from this image but looking at this also this is also not a bad grade if you should ask me taking out green 
took out a whole lot of mess so that I can even start from here. This can look like my desaturated look then I push in the colors that I want but I don't think I'm going to start from here. I'll come back to the basic. I know I deviated a lot so let's come back to color grading. Now the very first thing to do like I mentioned is to reduce the saturation over the whole image. I've made a video on what vibrance and saturation do separately. I wouldn't want to go in depth here. If you want to watch that, just you know, look for the video on my YouTube channel. Works. So I have desaturated the image. Let's send it a bit in towards the direction of what we're looking at. Looking at the histogram over here, my blacks are not clipping. So either I'm going to push the blacks here or I'm going to push the dehaze slider. But do, pushing the dehaze slider, as you can see, adds also a hint of color, I mean color to the said image. Right? So by I don't think I would, I would like to use the dehaze slider, so let's undo that. Let's rather push in the blacks, which is quite more better compared to the previous one. Taking a look at the before and the after, you can see. Right? So I like to keep my before here just so that I know. I am so not deviating from whatever it is I'm working on. Right, so after here, let's see, let's send this image in the right direction, like I said. Expose for everything. Let me bring down the white and a hint of contrast to this and, you know, reduce the exposure. Okay, so I like what I've done here so far. We'll come back to the camera calibration at all. Let's just get right into camera calibration. Let's reduce that. You remember when we took this out, it literally took out a whole lot of colors, right? So I'm not looking at having my skin looking all that reddish. So I have this here. And when I move the hue towards the left, I have some hints of greens in this. So I'm just going to keep it here. Let's see. All right, let's keep it there for now. And here in my contrast, come here, open the contrast, create the contrast, a slight SKF. Just to add a hint of contrast to this image. Then in my HSL tab, this is where most of my, you know, the tonal ranges are fixed, where I really don't need some colors in there. So if you quite remember, I did mention if I don't need some colors in the image, I'm going to take them out. All right. So currently looking at this, I feel like I would want to take away some of my yellows. And if you're not sure where you're going to find your yellows, you can pick up this color picker to adjust saturation by dragging in the photo. So I'll click on this hover around where I need the colors taken off, maybe from the outfits, from the sand down beneath, or when I hover, as you can see, the yellow is highlighted. So I can click and drag and that saturation is taken away. Uh, but as you can also see, it takes along the orange too. So some parts of the sand over here has some hints of oranges, right? So I'm going to manually remove the color I don't need. So as you can see, I'm not going to totally remove it. Of course, it's going to make it look like this. This can be a direction, but that's not what we're looking for. We are subtly going to grade this. No, not subtly. By okay, well, by subtly I mean we are grading it, but you're not grading it. You get what I mean? So I'm going to take away some of the saturation, a tad bit. I'm just going to leave it at. That's fine. I'm also going to reduce the saturation of the oranges reason being whenever here in lightroom whenever i reduce the luminance i increase the saturation of the set color so by reducing this luminance and maintaining the saturation can you see what i mean so i reduce the saturation and i reduce the luminance but when i increase the luminance i don't really get that effect right so I'm going to reduce out of the red also. Then maybe send this towards the yellowish vibe. Right. So next thing, I think I'm okay with this. We'll come back to the HSL tab later. Let's come into color grading. This is um, directly proportional. If, if that's a word, well, it's a word, but if you get what I mean, it directly translates to color balance in Lightroom. I mean in Capture One. Right. So I'm going to push some blues into my shadows and why do you think I'm pushing blues into my shadows if you remember we'll keep it there so with the highlights I'm not going to do the same to what I did in capture one I'll, I'll somewhat 
create a different vibe here so i'll push the blues here into the shadows and by doing that you realize my black skin is now turning into more dark black than it's more like dark chocolate than caramel chocolate is that, if that's something all right so i'll push in the blues also into the highlight right and this is what we are looking at then last but not least in my midtones i'll warm it up so I'll push some warmth into the midtones then say reduce the luminance of the midtones so just take a look at how the luminance slider works i'm not going to do too much here but taking a look at this i don't want to go and tackle my temperature we are still within the warm tones you know so much into the cool tones so if you remember also i did mention if you're working within the warm tones make sure each and every color available in your image is within the said warm tones let's straighten this for now right okay so i'll come to my curves right and this is what i was saying on my live that the curves also have the ability to you know push in color so we have the red channel the green channel and the blue channel the opposite of the red is cyan opposite of green is magenta opposite of blue is yellow right so if this is giving me a cold region this is supposed to warm up my image like i said i don't want to touch the temperature over here so what i will do in the curve is to come into my blues opposite of blue warm it up in the midtones so you can specifically warm up certain areas on the curve adjustment layer i'm going to push in a hint of red into my midtones also over here that's too much so there you have it so this is the before i mean this is the before and this is the after all right now let's come into this i am going to reduce this a tad bit and send this into the direction of the reds now let's see are we somewhere closer to a dark skin i feel like there's a hint of magenta in her skin so i'm going to push in some greens into the shadows right and that's where the camera calibration helps me right and i'll come back to the hsl saturation and like i said if i don't want to see too much of any color i just reduce it send the hue towards the yellow region just so that i have that hint of you know let's see bring back the saturation of the oranges now let's play along with the sky so we have some blues in the sky and we have some aquas in the sky also i'm just going to blow them out i oh, better still keep it here make it this way i'm taking a look at this image the sea looks a bit greenish kind of what i'm looking for so greenish aqua ish right so we readjust to the point where we feel like it's within that range all right so let's take a look at this what do we need to do i like where the skin is currently and let me see let me reduce this also Mm. let's not do that to the skin all right i think i like where i am at let's see before and after okay cooling it up so there's also one last thing you can do to the color gradient tool over here if you take a look at this we have the shadows midtones and highlights and we have the global so the global is independent of the shadows midtones and highlights so what what should we push in here some warmth in it just a hint of warmth right and i feel like my reds on the skin have popped up a little bit so just going to use this a that bit let's see all the way down look nope, let's keep it where it was and the luminance mm, yeah, we are great aren't we so there's the before and after before and after i like where we are at 
detail wise i'm going to take away the sharpness as i'm not a fan of sharpness these days the image isn't focused it's sharp enough i don't need lightroom giving more sharpness i'm going to reduce the clarity a tad bit or let's see let me increase the clarity increasing the clarity adds a notch to this so i think plus five should be okay for me now come to the effects add greens of course making the image pop out the more so what do you guys think should we add some vignette to this yeah adding some vignettes won't be bad let's feather the vignettes remove it from our highlights make it a bit round yep and this is how i will color grade this in lightroom so if you take a look at this the engine here in lightroom when it comes to you know luminance saturation and hue it's quite easy to work with and not that drastic even with its you know highlight recovery and all that but as you can see or as you saw in capture one the engine is should i say i wouldn't say perfect the engine is exaggerated it makes everything exaggerated and that's not something i usually look out for when i'm working on images like this thanks to kessie once again for providing us this image for this two tutorial from capture one and lightroom if you enjoyed this content can you let me know let me know down in the comment section i feel okay okay hold on hold on let's come to the hue also i should have mentioned this when you feel like you don't need some colors in there also so like let's say the yellows if the yellows don't look like an interesting color to you and you want to change the color you can change the hue of the yellows also and it will work right so that also work that's that's that also works uh, most of the time let's see as you can see right i don't think i need to change the hue but yeah all right one last thing before we leave lightroom and there's this amazing select subjects engine that has been added to lightroom let's see how great that works for our image over here the selection is mad if you ask me right so what i will do to this Let's see, you know, increase the exposure a little bit and a little bit of contrast because when you increase the exposure, you are exposing the highlights and the I mean, highlights and the shadows, and adding contrast sets it back to its default state, right? So, I am okay with this. Yeah. You can also darken the background by selecting, creating another select subject right then when it's done refining its results click on invert and it selects the background instead then i can reduce you know the exposure of the background that is how good this engine is now these days but that's not what we're about today let's just you know delete that i don't need that i just need this all right so what do you guys think let me just send this to you know the loop mode what do you guys think did you enjoy today's session if you did enjoy this content kindly leave a thumbs up as it helps me reach out to more audience you can also do that by sharing this kind of content on your social media every social media platform you have let me reach out to you know new audiences and also make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet I would advise you subscribe to the channel because it helps, you know, it, it will help you since I put up more videos like these when it comes to Capture One and Lightroom. Make sure you also subscribe. I mean, make sure you turn on the bell notification icon to be notified all the time when I drop new videos. And until next time, peace.